Hi, it's Dr. Harry Rajapura here, Director of Public Health for Blackpool, and here to give you an update on the coronavirus pandemic and how it's affecting Blackpool. So I'm pleased to say our, our uh, COVID uh, cases continue to be at a low level. So thank you to everyone that's been following the rules. Please continue to follow the rules as they're set out in the roadmap and uh, hopefully we'll get out and can look forward to some degree of normality. So um, in terms of the roadmap, um, as you will have heard, it was announced earlier this week that we will be progressing to the next stage of the roadmap. So that's step three as planned. This means that there'll be some changes from Monday, the 17th of May. So I'll go through a summary with you just in case you've not caught up with the uh, details. So gathering limits will be eased. You can now socialise indoors uh, from Monday in a group of up to six people or um, uh, two households, including for over overnight stays. Uh, you can, you can socialise with up to 30 people outdoors um, indoor hospitality venues such as restaurants, pubs, bars and cafes can reopen. Those that serve alcohol will need to provide a table service. Theatres, bowling alleys, children's indoor play areas, museums, amusement arcades and other venues can open indoors. Hotels, hostels and B&Bs can open for holidays and this will be again for groups of uh, up to six or two, two households. People will be able to attend indoor and outdoor events, including live performances and sporting events. However, attendance at these events will be capped according to the venue type, and everyone should follow the COVID secure measures set out by, the, by those venues. Organised indoor sport will be able to take place for all, including exercise classes. Funeral attendance will no longer be limited to 30 people. It will be determined by how many people can be uh, accommodated in a COVID secure way, um, ensuring that social distancing uh, rules can be met. Limits of weddings, wakes and other commemorative events will be increased to 30 people. Other significant live events such as christenings uh, will also be able to take place with 30 people. Um, care home visiting will change uh, allowing up to five named visitors to at any one one time, uh, provided visitors test negative for COVID-19. And all higher education students will be able to access in-person teaching. Support groups and parent child gathering limits will, will be increased. You should continue to work from home uh, at the moment if you can. Remember that risks of close contact may be greater for some people than others. And in some settings and circumstances, there will be specific guidance that you'll need to follow, even when you are with fam friends and family. The public health advice to everyone remains the same. Uh, the best way to stop uh, uh, the spread of this virus is to follow the guidelines. Remember hands, face, space, fresh air socialise safely and continue to work from home if you can. And of course, get vaccinated when invited and take up offering of regular testing. On the issue of testing, it's more important than ever that people come forward for PCR testing and to isolate when they have symptoms, no matter how mild. It helps to find cases and helps to break those chains of transmission. If you are meeting with friends or seeing loved ones, uh, we would uh, urge you to Test beforehand to protect loved ones and build regular testing into you into your routine. Um, please continue to follow uh, the guidance to reduce the risk of spreading the virus. We're heading in the right direction, so let's keep going. Um, as always, all this information and more can be found on our website listed at the end of this video. Um, Thank you once again for everything that you've done uh, and everything you're doing. Please continue to follow the rules as they are uh, and we can uh, hopefully safely get out of this and look forward to stage four of the roadmap uh, on the 21st of June. Thanks once again. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.